stairs in this place today. There's so many stairs. The stairs like don't stop. It's like on the Great Wall of China. But no, I can really. That New Zealand wall of freaking. So it's like the freaking record of stairs in New Zealand. So like they're, they're all here, like here right now. They don't even like shy to hide the stairs, they just put them right here. Let's keep going. They keep going. I had a freaking magpie before. Look at me, eye me up. Because my glasses are shining. Oh, we made it to the bottom of the stairs. Nice. Nice, nice. Almost fell a hundred feet. Oh, what's this? Is this it? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Finally. We found it. Hey guys, welcome to Urban Kiwiana here with um, Sunny Boy and Zed, Dude oh. by the Camera and Hayden and Zed. We have come to this awesome little ruins that Dude can tell you about. So thank you, enjoy the video. All set for holiday outings. I think Gary oh, This was actually like a bar, proper bathhouse. Yeah. Really? Wow. Oh, cool. It looks like well, it's water in there, but now it looks concrete. Look at the swim costumes back then. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was opened the 28th of February 1914 and was given to the public land in 1909. Wow. So 1949 and 9. So 1909 is quite a fair way to go. So drinks we need. The need for tea at the park and its attendant fire risk was addressed in the following way. The funny thing is. That tea kiosk is not this. I know, as I was thinking before. Pretty cool sort though. It hasn't been sealed. Let's try and get into there there. soon. Oh, nature oh, comes back down. It crawls down the outside, inside, outside, inside. You can't have it inside or outside. Man. Oh, there you go. So there's another door to the other side. Pretty cool sort though. So imagine that back in the day. This would be an awesome hangout place. Coming for a nice hot spa or a bath. This is not where the door is. I can't know. I don't want to have um, a bit of a jail. So people could walk out. Pretty awesome spot though. Do they taking pictures? Yeah, right, See if we can find a way into this other spot. Hey, Lindsay's taking some photography moments. I almost, almost photo bombed it. This is very cool. The yeah. dude with the magic. Who's around here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. The other side of the room. Cool. Oh, you can't even see it. Cool. Put the bird's eye view. I don't know what you saw, but it's trying to be a view. Very cool. The paint just nicely drips down. Almost looks like somebody pulling the fingers. <laughs> awesome spot, didn't it? That's a face going on there. Somebody tried to drink a flower and kind of faded it away. So back in the day, this would have been a pumping little area. The outside shot's cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool from the outside, though. Let's see if you say the outside. It's pretty awesome. I know they had bars, though. What's the bar for? What is the bars for? When they lock it at night, you know, no one can get in. So it's 1900s though, they want to like... <laughs> or like, like just to keep it clean at night or something. That's true. It's pretty cool though. The brickwork's really good, cool, stone work. Awesome little area. I'm just going to get out there. Can you see from here? There you have it, a nice little explore for you, nice little video, a bit of history, a bit of historic thickness. So that was the old tea room, which we no longer have here. In keeping with the values of time, they were built as strong as, strong as a fortress and discreetly tucked away. Cool. Holiday time by the seaside girls of the WYCA, Auckland having a pleasant time at 
Like us a link. Did I get you? Got myself. Hey everyone, so thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit subscribe, like, comment down below. Don't forget to the bell to get more notifications. Thank you, and if you, you just missed, I got a hell of a job to do. Thank you, Charlie.